I had been living in a super nice place by the beach for a while, but today something bad was about to happen. It had been so amazing to wake up to the blue Caribbean sea every morning. But today would perhaps be a last day to enjoy this beautiful scenery. Hello everybody! Welcome to another video. I just got a paper here saying that um, everybody staying here in Cancun and the hotel zone need to evacuate because one of the worst hurricanes in recorded history, I think, is coming tonight at 2 in the morning. In 2005 there was a really really bad hurricane here and all the windows apparently of the buildings just shattered and broke. I've been watching some videos of what happened in 2005 and that was really 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 bad. It's the calm before the storm. People are still here swimming though. But you can see that people are slowly starting to pack up and uh, all the sunbeds, everything is just gone. Going up to speak now to Tim from Tim's Ocean Condos. He was here, I think, in 2005. So we're gonna see what he has to say about this situation. But everything was, uh, there wasn't glass left anywhere. Yeah, everything was completely blown out. So Tim, you have been coming here since uh, 2004. Yeah, said. yeah. And um, how, what, what, what did this place look like after? Uh, well, there was no windows. It looked like a war, uh, really. Uh, trees were in the streets. Uh, it was insane. I came here like two weeks after they were had cleaned up, but uh, we were out of commission for 11 months. Uh, our hotel was down, so found a couch in the lagoon. Also, yeah, our couch in 2701 was literally uh, taken right out of our unit and flew out into the bay across the street. This storm's moving a lot faster, so when it hits, it's just gonna, I think it's just gonna keep going and go past us quickly. I slowly started realizing how dangerous this could potentially be. The hotel zone is located right in between the ocean and on the other side, a lagoon. So when the wind comes in, it just blows right over everything and there can be really dangerous floodings. Check also here to, with uh, yeah, Abdiel, he was here in 2005 uh, for Hurricane Wilma. Yes. And he told me that at that time he saw a boat, a ferry, that was flying, right? Yes. In 2005 we have a one big hurricane gun called Wilma. Wilma was a category 5. Yeah. So the, the wind was uh, 50, 100, uh, 60 kilometers per hour, you know, yeah. was very, very big. So you can see how the boat fly to the he, ocean. A big and to the ferry. Dive. Every person in every building was forced to evacuate the hotel zone. So we quickly put in all the furniture inside. So I think now I'm starting to realize how serious this actually is. Because um, all the furniture has now been brought in as you could see. And um, I was also speaking to Abdiel, and he said that he saw a boat. The boat was just flying. The party is over. It seems like the news have spread because now there's not a single person on the beach. Everybody knows what's coming and I'm packing my bag to head out more inland because uh, it would be actually very stupid to stay here, even though it's a bit tempting to stay and film. But we have to go, unfortunately. I was about to take the bus again across the hotel zone and into downtown Cancun. All right, my bag is packed and this is actually a good thing when you don't have to worry about things. Like this is all I own here in this bag. Here is just a bit of food, so that's good. The elevators were already shut off and I think the electricity is gone so I had to walk. I'm out here on the road and we have uh, people waving for the buses but none of the buses are stopping. They just pass by the buses that usually take the people into the downtown area. Really bad actually. I had to take a taxi across the hotel zone and the weather was already getting a bit bad. The taxi was taking us further up on the small land areas. 
had been going up and down this road many times before. It's usually much nicer coming into the hotel zone than leaving and going out to the downtown area. People were trying to get into the downtown area. A lot of people didn't have a ride and there was a traffic jam. Finally, I came across the corner after being in the traffic jam for a while. We came out to the side of the hotel zone where the lagoon merges with the sea water. I was back in the downtown area again that is full of buildings and people. The ride took much longer than usually, but I had made it into the downtown area. I came out of the taxi, I'm gonna go to this place where I stayed before, so all we can do now is just wait. Here is more inland, so here we should have more protection. You can see lots of people just going, going in from the hotel zone, coming into the downtown area of Cancun to seek shelter. A lot of people had come to the grocery store to get some supplies because nobody knew how long the hurricane would stay. We still have a pretty good atmosphere here. They're playing the music and the people are still happy. So I came into this hotel slash hostel in the downtown area of Cancun and here it should be more safe because you have a lot of buildings that um, cover the wind. So I'm gonna stay here. Um, until tomorrow, maybe two days, depending on how bad it's gonna be. We'll see what happens to the storm tomorrow, but the storm is coming. <sighs> the storm came in during the night and the electricity went out really quick. I was excited to film it when the daylight came again, but realized that the storm was already gone early the next morning. It's the next day here and as you can see some trees have fallen down. It was not actually nearly as bad as uh, I was uh, anticipating. I was sleeping last night and I woke up and I could hear the wind. There's no electricity almost anywhere and we still have a bit of wind. And uh, you can see the electrical wires here are just kind of screwed. There was no rain almost, which is really good. I think that's one of the biggest threats when it comes to a hurricane. All the rain and flooding that usually comes with it. There was such a big hype about this hurricane and um, it was just gone so quickly overnight. It was not bad at all. Uh, so I'm a bit disappointed actually in uh, in the hurricane. I was uh, expecting more trauma. <laughs> or actually, no, that's a bad thing to say, but... <laughs> it was a bit exciting actually that the hurricane was coming. Something exciting, something happening, you know. Surviving, survival. I was thinking I would have to uh, uh, try to survive. I bought so much food from the store. Gabriel, the coffee hey! master! <laughs> I had met my friends Gabriel and Nicole at the place. We decided to go out for a walk and see what damages the hurricane had actually caused. So I'm going for a walk now to see what actually has happened here. And uh, as you can see, there are a lot of fallen trees. Fallen trees everywhere. Well, I'm waiting now to be able to go back uh, to the hotel zone and see what has happened there. But first, we're gonna do a little running workout so we can be calm. I'm starting to feel a bit stressed. <laughs> Oh, I feel much better now after running I felt so anxious before I started running I don't know why I think this everybody probably gets this feeling we just choose to deal with it in different ways running I think is a great way to calm your mind and feel relaxed again when you're starting to feel some kind of worry we really have to do exercise humans are not meant to just sit inside and Never do exercise, we go insane if we never exercise.
the storm didn't do much of uh, damages at all actually so I'm gonna take the bus and head back into the hotel zone now and see if, what it looks like over there I got on the bus again and started heading back to where I had previously been staying I did see a lot of fallen trees along the way and also started to see some buildings where windows had been blown out there was one building that had more than 20 broken windows. When I came in to the straight side of the hotel zone, I saw many more trees that had fallen onto the roads. I came back and I can see that lots of windows are broken on the other side. That's where the wind came from. And they won't let me come in. They closed. The whole building, the whole hotel, I asked for how long, he said maybe two or three months. And I was so happy to stay here. Well, sometimes life goes to shit really, really bad. Well, now I don't know what I'm gonna do, I have my bag here. You can see there, the glass is broken. Probably from the other side, it's even worse. Well, what am I gonna do now? Same situation that I've been in many times where I have just my bag and uh, no destination but it's funny how uh, things can be going so good I was speaking about this a few weeks ago <laughs> and then everything went to shit <laughs> but it's all right I'm optimistic because I have my bag with me I don't have any I didn't have any stuff in there I didn't lose any stuff so I'm actually optimistic because I can just uh, take my bag and go here's my bag the wind came in probably and just destroyed everything I wish I could fly there with my drone, but as I said, I, uh, my phone also broke, so I can't use my drone either. I have to buy a new phone. That's probably what I'm going to do now, try to go buy a new phone, and then, um, I don't know. Come along with me, and I ease your pain. Most hotels seem to be closed until further notice. I took the bus without the destination, but got off at the shopping mall. I came in here um, to charge my computer, and uh, I, I don't think this can be true. Like, my computer doesn't start. <laughs> There's electricity here, but my computer won't start. So now I have a broken phone, a broken computer, and the nice place where I stayed, I uh, can't stay there anymore. <laughs> Everything went to shit really, really, really quick. Well, we usually come back much, much stronger when shit happens in life, so... It's not so bad after all. I'm not broke, you know. <laughs> it would be a really bad situation if I was broke, but I'm not broke. So I think I'm gonna go into this hotel right here, charge my camera and then think what we are gonna do next. I don't think there's a swimming pool there, so there will be no pool tricks either. A bit sad, but what can we do? We need to find a swimming pool very soon so we can perform some pool tricks. I'm starting to feel them. Trick urge is coming. <sighs> it was really packed with people downtown Cancun now because everyone had come in from the hotel zone. It's really typical of Mexico. I went to the hotel and it said a big sign, open, abierto. And I walked in and then it said it's closed. You see things like that all the time. I've been to. Um, three different hotels now and there's no electricity apparently anywhere in uh, Cancun um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do no electricity no water in the places I'm here in the park I'm just speaking to police officer there but I can understand anything because I don't know Spanish yet so <laughs> oh I came into a hotel here finally no water no electricity but it's one of few hotels that I could find that was actually open such a shit situation. Hopefully, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Lots of hotels downtown had closed after the coronavirus. And I also saw that there might be a swimming pool here. <laughs> I can smell a swimming pool. It means it's time for some What better pool trick can we do here to represent how we feel? 
besides a belly flop. I think that represents how we have felt in the past two days. A belly flop. I feel much better after my pool drinks. Great, great success. <laughs> it's really dark. The electricity was out, but some places had a generator, so you could have electricity for about an hour in the evening. My computer didn't start trying to open it, it's fucked. Some really weird stuff has happened lately, I can't believe it. Today, when my laptop broke, it also broke right after I had called my mother to tell her everything was okay because she had sent me messages. I saw the messages and uh, I called her, said everything was okay, and then the computer just broke. <laughs> and then it, it didn't start again. It's just like there's some ghost devil haters maybe out there. It was just as if they had been discussing, okay, yeah, let him call his mother first and then we're gonna break the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about my phone that broke also recently. I was not long ago at all. It was so, so weird because I have a life proof case on the phone. It shouldn't break from a fall that's like one meter, like two, three feet. Really what happened today with the laptop was really 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 strange How it just died right after I had called my mother and then with the phone too and they both broke within two days Same time. Well, I have uh, my health is good and I have somewhere to sleep. So I Should be happy. I think we should try to be happy even when shit happens if we have somewhere to sleep and we have food and water then and our health is good, then we have no reason to not be happy. It's hard sometimes when shit happens. We are sad for a bit, but you know what they say, time heals all wounds. The following day, I had been to an electronics store to try and fix my laptop, but was on my way back again. The shopping mall is located by Puerto Cancun and the sea. So I'm on my way back to Best Buy now. I took my computer in the, there this morning. So now I am uh, bringing my external hard drive to see if they can transfer some of the files that I have had on my hard drive of the laptop to my external hard drive because the whole computer went corrupt and uh, I might lose every file that I had on the computer, which is really, really sad actually. And lots of extra work. I came into the shopping mall in Puerto Cancun, which is a modern area in the town. At Best Buy, I gave them my laptop to get it repaired. Here I am in Best Buy, Mexico. <laughs> they said the computer would be ready the next day, but I expected it to take a few days. Hello, I came back to the hotel after my attempt to fix my broken laptop and I also tried to buy a new phone, but I didn't find any good ones, unfortunately. But the pool trick outfit is on now. My friend Nicole had come to visit Hello. at the hotel where I was staying, and I was about to do some more pool tricks. The sun is going down. It's time for a pool trick. <laughs> the electricity was still out a few days after the hurricane. 
a few days later. So hello, uh, I've been in here in this room for a couple of days and uh, now I'm gonna go again. Uh, but I'm gonna stay here in Cancun for a few more days. I'm still waiting for my laptop to be uh, repaired and uh, my phone, I still don't have a phone. It was quite nice actually to hang out here. The pool was really nice. They did a couple of pool tricks here. Um, but uh, now we gotta figure out where we're gonna go. Where do we go now? Well, that's the question. I took a taxi to another part of town to see what that area looked like. Hello! I came in here now to Hotel Hacienda. It looked much better actually in the pictures. It's really, sh I, actually it's all right. I just need somewhere to stay until I get my laptop and my phone. I'm gonna go back to Best Buy today where they have been repairing my laptop that broke. And then um, I'm also gonna buy a phone. Once I get my laptop and my phone, I'll probably be taking the bus and heading out to the west part of Mexico, the state of Chiapas and Oaxaca. And then I'm gonna travel up probably along the west coast of Mexico. That's my plan for now. So I can um, have a successful YouTube channel in, um, uh, in some time from now. <laughs> There is a swimming pool here, look, for some pool tricks maybe. I had been going back to Best Buy several times since it was taking them much longer to repair the computer than what they had first said. It was frustrating to not have a computer since I couldn't get anything done. I had also heard that some states in Mexico were going back to lockdown and quarantine so it might make it hard for me to travel over to the other side of Mexico. The days went by and parts of town still had no electricity. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I was, I've was been walking around all day trying to get a laptop, but uh, they still haven't fixed it. It's still being repaired. It seems like they can't fix it. And uh, I still don't have a phone. <laughs> And today I actually tried to order a phone because all the phones in the store are locked to Mexico. And uh, I don't want to have a phone that I can only use in Mexico. So I tried to order from uh, Amazon in the US, but my card was didn't work <laughs> for some reason. It didn't work, so I might have to buy a phone, a Mexican phone. The next day. We have a step in the right direction. The electricity is back and it's so nice to have AC again. <laughs> well, we might start out the day with a little bit of time at the pool. Oh, I'm so happy to have AC again. The electricity came back. Oh, it's not as nice as where I was. Um, a couple of days ago in this huge hotel by the beach. <laughs> I finally got a new laptop, or not new laptop, they fixed my, my laptop finally. I went back and forth to Best Buy four times. Finally, I'm able to be back on track and also got a phone, but apparently the phone was not good enough because it's, it's not working uh, to use it to fly my drone. <laughs> The phone was too shitty, so maybe I'll have to buy another phone to be able to fly my drone again, which is kind of sad. But shit, I'm not surprised anymore about the things that happen. So everything is gonna be okay and we are soon gonna be making really, really good videos again. I'm really excited to be back on track and thank you guys for sticking with me through shit, storm, rain and pain. But we are gonna reach success eventually. But thank you very, very, very much for watching this video. My enthusiasm is slowly coming back to normal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
please leave this video a thumbs up, post a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time, my friends. See you next time. Now I was heading back to the good hotel again to get ready for the west coast of Mexico.